The quiet Vancouver neighborhood is still waiting for answers after a 78-year-old woman was murdered in her home this week. And Fox 12's McKenna Marks joins us live from that neighborhood after talking with residents today. McKenna, how are people reacting? Well, Pete, Nora, the neighbor I spoke to today tells me this is usually a very safe and quiet neighborhood. But now after 78-year-old Patricia Jimmerfield was murdered in her home just a few days ago, the neighborhood is now feeling weary as they wait for answers. She was a great person. Patricia Jimmerfield's family told Fox 12 she had lived in her home since 1984. Family told us that she believed her home had been broken into on Monday. The Clark County Sheriff's Office confirmed that Jimmerfield's wallet was missing and that she had reported fraudulent activity on her account Tuesday morning, but there was no sign of a break-in. On Tuesday evening, Jimmerfield was found dead in her home by a family member. Now the rest of the neighborhood is on high alert. We make sure things are locked up. We do have cameras on the house, so uh, we just make sure things are locked up and, and are careful as we leave. Jeremy Brooks lives in the neighborhood. He told me he's never seen anything like this happen before and says he usually feels very safe. Actually, the neighborhood's really quiet, really good. We've accidentally left our garage doors open through the night on a couple occasions, and uh, we've always felt pretty safe. For now, there are still a lot of unanswered questions, and until those questions are answered, this quiet neighborhood will be uneasy. And everybody seems to be pretty uncomfortable and, until, you know, we get answers of, of what actually happened. And I reached out to the Clark County Medical Examiner's Office today, and they do plan on likely releasing an update sometime tomorrow. So as soon as we have that new information or any new information on this case, we'll be sure to keep you all updated. Live in Vancouver, McKenna Marks, Fox 12, Oregon.